Hi guys, Martin88 here and welcome back to another FIFA 22 video and welcome back to another tactics video. Online tactics, not squad bounce tactics. I know some of you have been getting a little bit confused with it. So, if you've been watching over the last few weeks, you'd have known that for this little downtime in FIFA before team of the season, I've been playing foot champs with loads of different formations and this week we've gone with a formation that's getting talked about quite a lot in FIFA at the moment and that is the 3-5-2. There we go, lovely. So let's get into it and show you the tactics and the player instructions that um, I use and how I set my team um, up. Um, yeah, of course, I only really upload these or would upload these if I can still achieve uh, the rank that I normally do. Um, so again, I've got some 11 wins, had a uh, few games uh, spare, which I think I said in my rewards video. So yeah, there we go. Also, before we do that, guys, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. At the time of recording, I think I'm like 18 subscribers away from like two and a half thousand. It'd be a nice little landmark for me to achieve personally. So I would thank you very much if you could do that. Right, so on screen, you can see that's how I set up. That's my team. And of course, when you're using lots of different uh, formations, you might have the odd player in different, um, in different positions, but I will go through that in more depth once we get into the tactics. So here we go. So you probably see like a reoccurring theme with some of the tactics that are used, but then some some formations aren't really that different, you know. But well, let's go through it. So defensive style, I very much come to the understanding that I like balanced as a defensive style, unless it's something like um, a four triple two or like a four three one two. Unless it's a formation where you're literally trying to suffocate um, your opponent and be really aggressive. I would go for balanced. If it was, I'd go for pressure on heavy touch. Width, because 352 is extremely wide, and let's just bring it in slightly. If, in my personal opinion, if you don't, the two wingers, which for me is team of the year Cancelo, team of the year Hakimi, it's like they're wasted. You need to get them involved in the game. If you want them to go even wider, then you could just do that manually when you've got the ball. But from a defensive point of view, you want them to be a little bit more narrow, so they're giving you a bit more protection. Otherwise, they're just taken out of the game, trust me. Depth, 50, I've got fast defenders. No real need for that. Build up play, balanced. Um, again, we're not really looking to counter attacks, and also we're not looking to just suffocate them and win the ball up aggressively. I'd still say that this formation falls in like the, um, you know, like the medium range of that. Best of both worlds kind of thing. Um, Chance creation, uh, direct passing, it's just something that I like. I like the runs that's made for that. And I would go as far as saying that nearly any formation that I'd play, I'd probably have direct passing on, is the truth. If you disagree, of course, let me know. We're all here to help each other, hear each other's thoughts. So again, let me know. Width, um, 50, um, because from an attacking point of view, I'm quite happy for... Uh, Cancelo and Hakimi to stay where they are because it stretches the team out, leaves a lot of space in the middle for um, the cam, the centre mids and the two strikers. Players in the box, seven. The way I always look at that is I've got two strikers, one cam, two central midfielders, two wide players. That's seven players, so I put it on seven players in the box. I obviously don't want the defenders to go in the box. That's why I don't have it on eight, nine or ten. Simple as that. Uh, corners to free kicks two. So let's go into the player instructions. So for myself, I haven't got three centre-backs. Now, the easy thing to do here would have been to play uh, Team of the Year Cancelo or Team of the Year Hakimi at the back line. But they are so good that I want them on the wing. And they act as left-back, right-backs, left-wing-back, right-wing-back, uh, right-winger, left-winger. They're that good that they can do all of it. So you, I, my thinking is utilise them there. Like, I could have done something like uh, put Fabinho where Odegaard is, then Odegaard, where Jota is, put Jota up front, it's the Sterling, and put Sterling out wide and have Hakimi there. But I don't, Sterling for me is behind the curve, player that I need to upgrade. And that is a big position, yeah? You're asking them to do two jobs. So um, this worked for me, in my opinion, because of having uh, Cancelo and Hakimi, okay? So, let's get into it. Back three won't surprise you in the slightest. I'll all stay back while attacking. Of course they are. Um, and Fabinho does a good job there. Decent on the ball as well. Um, 
into the CDMs. Now, it depends how you want to play it, but for me, it's attacking. We're here to have fun, let's score goals, let's win games. So, I have um, the CDMs on balanced attack, balanced attack, but cover center. That's something that um, I always find is very, very important to have them on cover center because that's where the threat from the opposition is, is through the middle. Yeah, so cover center, balanced attack, getting the best of both worlds. And of course, at this stage of FIFA, you kind of want to have CDMs that can attack and defend. Right. Over to the wingers. Wing backs, whatever you want to call them. So it's the same for both, of course. And I have them come back on defence. And that's because I don't want to get crucified down the wings. But equally, they will still get involved with the tack a lot. And if you're talking about like Hakimi or Cancelo here, they are able to take the ball forward very, very well. <coughs> and um, they still very much act like wingers, in my opinion. Don't have anything else on. Um, I did consider having them on getting behind, but honestly, where people sit back so much, I don't want that. I want the freedom to be able to give them the ball and do what I want. Then, always important for me, I like to have a cam the way that I'm playing. Um, now, Jota isn't ideal, to be honest. I would like a, uh, an upgraded player on that. Waiting for a new song to come out, very much. But anyway, we're having him on stay forward because I still feel that you've got three centre-backs, the two CDMs and Cancelo and Hakimi. Um, that is seven players that are defending. We don't need any more to come back. I'm not, I'm not interested in sitting behind the ball, grinding out in wins and like, or just sitting behind it and then lumping through balls. I want to have fun. I want to win games. I want to score goals. I want to be on the front foot. So I have the cam on stay forward. And that means that when we win it, We've got players already standing up the pitch, ready and waiting to pounce, counter-attack. And it works well having the pace of Cancelo and Hikimi on the wings as well. And then up top, I literally don't touch them. Don't touch them at all. Um, just leave them be. Because <clears throat> if I want to go... What I do, personally, and if you're, if you're not skilled enough to do this or you don't know how... I know this is a tactics video. I'm going to let you into the secret. So to trigger a run, I use LB or L1 on PlayStation, okay? So if you're facing um, that player, so if I've got the ball with Hakimi and Sterling is down the line, I will just press L1 and he'll make the run. And then on the mini map, I wait until he's exactly level and then I play it or he's just approaching level. And then I play the through ball and then he will be um, in. So if I wanted to play a through ball, I can just activate it manually. There's no need to put there's no need to put Sterling on getting behind uh, because that means he's going to do it every time. And we don't want to do that every time. We want options. So, yeah, that's why I don't have them on getting behind because I trigger my own runs. So, guys, there we have it. 3-5-2 tactics are in. Um, not sure what tactics I'm going to try next. Maybe there aren't any. I'm not just going to be stupid and try absolutely anything. But if there is something else, I'll happily give it a try. Or put something in the comments and I'll give it a whirl. And uh, yeah, we'll see what's going on. But guys, get into the comments. Ask me anything that you want. Maybe you've tried it. Maybe you've tried it. Use different um, instructions or different tactics. Something that's worked well for you or hasn't worked well. Just get in the comments. Help each other out. And let's share um share what we have learned but guys that is going to be it for today so please drop a like on the video like i said subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because i'm very very close to two and a half thousand subscribers at the moment that'd be great to hit that um very very soon and yeah i will see you tomorrow for my top five formations in fifa 22 so until then i'll see you later bye guys